Leeds caretaker manager Neil Redfern was given at least three more matches to keep his job by chairman Ken Bates after last weekend's 3-0 win at Bristol City. Redfern's first home game in charge saw him face former Leeds assistant manager Gus Poyet's Brighton. Both sides lacked any spark in a forgettable first half, but the game sprang to life soon after the restart. Luciano Becchio's eyes lit up when Peter Brezavan spilled a routine cross, but Joe Mattock intervened brilliantly. Sam Vokes has yet to open his account for Brighton since his lone move from Wolves. He came very close with a first-time effort here, forcing a terrific save from Andy Lonergan. Vokes should have broken his duck for the Seagulls shortly after, but just failed to connect with a corner. And Leeds defender Tom Lee suffered a similar fate at the other end, as both teams seemed determined not to score. Craig Mackell Smith replaced Vokes and had been on the pitch for little more than three minutes when he put Brighton ahead, after Leeds had made a real mess of clearing a corner. A third of the goals the Seagulls have conceded this season have come in the last 15 minutes of matches. True to form, they allowed Luciano Becchio a free header with 11 minutes to play. And going into added time, a draw seemed the likely outcome. That is until Alan Navarro decided now was the perfect time to end his three-year goal drought for the club. The Seagulls are still unbeaten in the league in 2012. Gus Poyet delighted with the late show. The best part for me is the, is the last five, ten minutes. We were not happy with the draw and we keep playing and we keep trying and we went for the winner. Sometimes you need a, a bit of luck, you know, not only the, the person who is going to score is the first goal for us, for Brighton, but also the, the, the time of the goal that was after the 90 minutes.